हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग द टोटल एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग कंप्राइजेस ऑफ फोर मेजर बाइफर्केशंस फर्स्ट वन इज वाटर सप्लाई इंजीनियरिंग सेकंड वन इज वेस्ट वाटर इंजीनियरिंग थर्ड वन इज म्युनिसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट एंड द लास्ट वन इज एयर एंड नॉइस पोल्यूशन now from the water supply engineering in the last 10 year in gate exams 52 question had been asked which comprises of almost 88 marks so it becomes a very important topic as per the gate exam similarly waste water comprises of 30 question in the last 10 year whose marks is 49 which is also a major topic or the major portion in our environmental engineering now the last two portion that is the municipal solid waste and the air and noise pollution total comprises of almost 34 question in the last 10 years and its weightage is almost 16 and 32 marks but in the recent 3 years many question had been asked from municipal solid waste as well as from air and noise pollution so it becomes also important from the gate point of view okay now the major bifurcation of water supply engineering is bifurcated in three chapters the first chapter is sources of water and water demand which we are going to study in our class second one is the quality control and the third one is the treatment of water when we complete these three chapter our complete water supply engineering will be done okay now we will start with the first chapter that is the sources of water and water demand and the topic is sources of water now there are two sources of water first one is the surface source and the second one is the underground sources now what do you mean by surface source the water which is flowing on the surface of the earth is known as surface sources where water is flowing water is flowing on the surface of the earth okay now what are the examples of surface sources the example of surface sources are rivers ponds lakes storage reservoir that is dams etc and what are underground sources the underground sources are those in which the water is flowing very deep inside the earth where water is flowing flowing very deep inside the surface of the earth okay okay now what are the examples of underground sources the examples are wells tube wells spring infiltration gallery etc okay now all of you are aware about what is river what is pond what is lake what is in storage reservoir that is dams what is wells and what is tube wells but any one of you having an idea of what is spring or what is infiltration gallery okay no one had the idea of about springs and infiltration gallery so we will discuss one by one each and every topic that is spring and infiltration gallery okay now what is spring the natural outflow of ground water at the earth surface is said to form a spring it means that if water is coming out of the surface of the earth by natural means it is known as spring okay suppose that this diagram is shown here in which the water is coming under the natural forces okay or due to natural outflow of water from the ground surface that's why it is known as spring i will give another example to you suppose that there is a mountain like obstruction which is shown on your screen like this okay now one side of which there will be a water source which is which completely fills this portion like this okay now suppose that if any crack will takes place in this mountain like obstruction and the water starts flowing from this crack like water jets like this okay now these water jets are also known as springs because water is coming out of the surface of the earth by natural means suppose that if water is flowing like this due to overflow now this is also known as spring because here also the water is coming by natural forces that's why it is known as spring so these are the total definitions of spring and how many types of spring will be created is shown in this two diagrams okay now we will see one practical example of spring that is kheer ganga in himachal pradesh okay 
विच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ स्प्रिंग इन हिमाचल प्रदेश अ खीर गंगा टाइप स्प्रिंग टेक्स प्लेस वे आर द वॉटर इज फ्लोइंग अंडर द नेचुरल आउटफ्लो और ड्यू टू नेचुरल फोर्सेज दिस इज नोन एज स्प्रिंग ओके नाउ आई होप डेट इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी ओके नाउ वॉट इज इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी वट डू मीन बाई इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी आर दी हॉरिजोंटल टनल्स वट इज इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी इट इज अरिजोंटल टनल कंस्ट्रक्टेड एट शेलो डेप वेयर इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एट शेलो डेप दैट इज थ्री टू फाइव मीटर अलॉन्ग द बैंक ऑफ रिवर थ्रू दी वॉटर बियरिंग स्ट्रेटा ओके सो इट इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द इनफिल्ट्रेशन गैलरी all of you are aware about the soil which is present near the bank of river is moist okay now if we want to extract the water from that soil we want to construct an infiltration gallery along the bank of river in which we generally construct a sump well which is shown here we generally construct a sump well or storage tank which is shown here which is constructed deep inside the earth okay and from this sump well we will con con connect various perforated pipes various perforated pipes we will connect from this some tank and this perforated pipe will be provided some inclination so that water will flow into the sum okay now the water which is present in the soil will slowly move to the perforated pipe and from the perforated pipe it will move to the sum well due to inclination provided to the perforated pipe and this water which is stored in the sump tank or storage tank will be supplied to various households in the summer season when the shortage of water is there okay now this is all about the extraction of water from the soil near the bank of river you also aware about that the water in the river is somewhere not pure for the drinking purpose okay suppose that we will take the case of yamuna river where the water is highly polluted so we don't use that water for the drinking purpose now how can we take that water for the drinking purpose suppose that we had provided here the gravel layer okay we had provided the gravel layer at the base of the river and through this gravel layer the water from the river will start moving downward and below that gravel layer we had connected the perforated pipe again okay now water from the river will start flowing through this gravel layer and when the water passes through that gravel layer it will completely filtrate okay it will completely filtrate and the filtered water will be passed into the perforated pipe and from the perforated pipe it will slightly move inside the sump tank and from the sump tank we will take the water as per our requirement that is all about the infiltration gallery here we had completed our first topic that is sources of water okay thank you very much